Angels are in 13 countries, 130 cities now. I started it as a night manager at McDonald's back in 1979 on Fordham and Webster. We started to patrol the subways and the streets and the parks. We do it now all over the world. Unfortunately now, a number one issue we deal with all the time, that includes myself in the subways every day, the emotionally disturbed person. I've had my jaw in the last five years fractured twice by emotionally disturbed persons that I was trying to come to the aid of who were having their psychotic disorder. I don't fault them. They saw me as a threat, like a gargoyle, like a dragon. We don't understand what they see because they don't think or see what we see. They feel like they're caged, they're threatened. They need their medication, they need help. I've been to Creek Law, there's plenty of space. In the Kings County, plenty of space. Kirby Psychiatric is here when you go towards the Triborough Bridge, right there on Randall's Island. That huge facility, it's virtually empty. State facilities, municipal facilities, and now the private hospitals and nonprofits don't want to start taking psychiatric patients again as they did before the lockdown because they're only getting $2,000 a day from either Medicaid or the private insurer. Whereas obviously if people have other disorders, like cardio being the primary one, they can get anywhere from 26,000 to 82,000 for one day of a stay in that same bed. They have to be forced to take these patients. And many of them became psychotic because they needed drug rehab. They were kicked out of drug rehab because they needed the vents. I think we can all agree when our fellow brothers and sisters were dying in the ICUs, there weren't enough ventilators. We need every bed we can get. But now we're back on track. We're having concerts. We're having celebrations at taxpayers' expense while these poor souls sleep in the streets, sleep in the subways, attack people, attack one another. And we allow this to take place. We call ourselves a civilized society. When the New York Post says, this is like Kabul in Afghanistan, come on. It's exactly the same thing. Except it's not a foreign enemy. We ourselves are our own worst enemy to allow these conditions to continue. In the economic engine of the world, New York City, the capitalist epicenter of the world, where we have a hundred billion dollar budget now, loaded as it is by Bill de Blasio, and we can't find the money to house, care, and keep secure men and women who eventually might be able to get back on track. But without the care, without the medicine, they'll only plunge deep into the belly of their own beasts. For them, it's like Dante's Inferno. We cannot ignore their plight any longer because if we ignore them, they're coming for all of us. A bank like Chase, with billions, and other banks, can immediately, because of this event, have a private security officer assigned to every vestibule of every ATM, from Tottenville and Staten Island, to Douglaston and Queens, to every congested area of the city. Because the emotionally disturbed and vulnerable seek to stay in these vestibules, mostly as a sanctuary, mostly to sleep. But a lot of them are back down. A lot of them threaten the patrons. So it would seem to move Chase and other major banking institutions. Spend a little of that money you make. And instead of going out to the Hamptons on the weekend, you have a few less cocktails to, to take care of the patients who bank all their money in your facilities so they can withdraw it from an ATM at their pleasure and leisure. 24 hour security in every ATM vestibule. And think of it, it's bad enough in this case a man is attacked. How many times have women gone into these vestibules and men, psychologically deranged, want to prove to these women in those vestibules that they don't have erectile dysfunction. I won't explain it any further. Perks, gropers, sexual deviants. And then you wonder why women won't go into these vestibules. The corporate sector, Wall Street, the big banks, they gotta realize they have to do their share. They can put a private security officer at minimum wage in each and every vestibule, 24, 7, 3, 6, 5. That could be their contribution to dealing with this ever-growing problem. Any other questions? Yeah.
guys like that. Like, they're back a lot. Yeah, the worst problem with the facts is the way I go away and track it. The killers are home to me. But one of the young kids is not talking about what's going on in society. So, that's what I'm talking about. Too. The fact is, it's been out there since our military has been out there for burning the Pope of the Sound of God's name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 